Here we have an example where the graph passes through the axes in this kind of way, kind of bends through the axis, the y-axis and the x-axis. Uh, and we can kind of see that this has a slant asymptote at y equals negative x. And we can kind of see that slant asymptote. As we let x get large, we can see that it's basically these two terms that dominate. And we get x cubed equals negative y cubed or x equals negative y. So we want to find the slope at the intercepts here. So first thing is we want to find the x and y coordinates of the intercepts. So we need to plug in x is 0. So we, when we plug in x is 0 in blue, we, the equation simplifies to y cubed plus y equals 30. So the cubic equation, we could make it equal to 0 and try factoring this. Um, and we're going to have to guess our factors. But in this case here, it's probably just easy enough to guess the solution of y equals 3, so 3 cubed plus 3 is equal to 30. So in this case, our y-intercept is at 3. And when we do the same thing for y is 0, we end up with the same equation, so we're going to get x is equal to 3. So those are our x and y-intercepts. From here, we want to find the slope. So because this is an implicit function, we're going to differentiate this implicitly. And what that means is we're going to differentiate the x normally. And as we differentiate y, we're going to differentiate the outside of y. So we're going to get 3y squared. And then because we differentiated y, we're going to add on the chain rule of dy by dx. Plus, derivative of y is going to be dy by dx. And then plus x, so the derivative of x is going to be 1, and the derivative of constant is always going to be 0. So again, we're just going to isolate the y prime, so we get y prime, factoring out the y, the, the uh, sorry, factoring out the y prime out of those terms, we're going to be left with 3y squared plus 1, and this is going to be plus 3x squared plus 1. That's going to be equal to zero. Solving for y squared, sorry, y prime. And so y prime as a function of x and y, that's going to be equal to negative 3x squared minus 1 all over 3y squared plus 1. Okay, so plugging in my x-intercept, I'm going to get my slope through my x-intercept, so y prime. At, at x is 0, y is 3, so at 0, 3, that's going to give us a slope value of, uh, looks like, negative 1 over, when I plug in y is 3, I'm going to get 28. So I have a very shallow slope through that point, okay, looks almost horizontal, of negative 1 over 28. Okay, and then for the other slope, the slope value at x is 3, y is 0. Plugging it into our equation, we get negative, it's going to be negative 28 over, well, y is 0, we get 1, so the slope is going to be negative 28, so it's a very steep slope going down in this way okay and so we can graph those as well and see that those are the tangent lines that go through those points